Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to cut this greyhound out from the background of this picture. In other words, removing the background and just leaving this uh, fawn greyhound here which we can then place onto a new background. It can be a coloured background or it can be a new picture that you want to put the greyhound or whatever image you're going to cut out. We're going to use in this tutorial the quick selection tool you can use any other method for removing backgrounds but we're going to uh, concentrate on the quick selection tool in this uh, tutorial um, so what we do initially we come up here and we select the quick uh, selection tool left hand toolbar and we left click it and we make sure that the little black square is highlighting the quick selection tool then we make sure that we have a brush size that is suitable for the um, the the image that we want to cut out. Um, I've got it set at five, uh, which is about right for this. Now we go over here and we want to unlock the background. So in the layers panel, I'm going to double left click the background to remove this padlock, and this new layer comes up. It says to name it, we won't bother with that, we'll just OK it and the padlock has been removed. I'm going to increase the size, going to zoom in a little bit on the Greyhound. Now with the click, quick selection tool on the Greyhound, Greyhound's head here, I'm going to left click on the mouse and just drag down slowly, holding the key pressed in on the mouse and you can see the little marching ants or the marquees snapping themselves to the outside of the Greyhound's body here just pushing it back up to the ear with the key on the mouse held in and I've just released the key on the mouse as you can see at the top the marquee, the marching ants have sprung away from the area we want to cut out so I'm coming outside of, I'm going to nudge them back in so when you want to come outside and nudge them back in you hold the ALT key on the keyboard and now pressing the uh, left key on the mouse I'm just nudge nudging them back in and they just snap to the Greyhound there okay so if you're outside and you want to nudge back in you hold the ALT key at the same time as you have the left key on the mouse pressed in right so I want to push this the marquee out so I'm inside the marquee I'm going to just left click on the mouse holding the button down and just pushing them out. That bit's just sprung out, so I'm on the outside of it. Alt key held on the keyboard and the button on the mouse depressed, pressed in. Now I'm going to go around the whole Greyhound and have the marquee marching ants all the way around um, so we can cut it out. Right, now once you've been around the section of the picture that you want to uh, cut out or remove um, what we now can not we what we can now do is go up to the top here the refine edge box we can left click that and we have some settings here you can see the backgrounds being replaced with a, a, a black background there it hasn't cut it out yet it's just replaced it so we can see um, what sort of work we've done on the image here um, if I left click the standard button we go back to the background is on the picture and we can see the marching ants now just to show you what these controls do quickly if the contract and expand these will uh, as the explanation says contract and expand if I go plus you'll see the little marching ants have moved away from the part of the uh, image we want to cut out so if I move it the other way to minus it brings it in so you can see we a little bit of adjustment we can get it virtually exactly where we want it okay and the contrast up here it makes the edges sharper if I go onto the black background and um, just increase that a touch there now with the contrast if I up the contrast you can see it makes it a sharper uh, image around the, the, the bit we're cutting out the default settings is normally uh, not too bad to, to go with, to be quite honest. Um, feather and smooth, well smooth will make the edges smoother, 
uh, makes them sort of uh, yeah smoother as such and the feather again we just get about 0 0.8 and that uh, just feathers it into the into the, uh, the the new image that we're going to put it into so as I say the default settings are, are normally pretty good so we'll OK that now the next move is the important bit now we're going to cut out the image we go to the top of the toolbar here and we go select and we now highlight and left click inverse now you won't see anything that's happened at this stage now what we now do is we on the keyboard we press the delete button and now the background has been removed so we're now going to save this uh, the, the cutout we're going to save it as a PSD which means we can actually use that as many times as we want and we can place it onto as many photographs or new backgrounds as, as, we, as we want to so we go file save as and it's a Photoshop PSD at this stage so it's got to be saved as a Photoshop PSD so we'll name it as Greyhound with a background and we save that right now let's bring a new background in we'll bring the, to start with we'll bring the background just a coloured one so we're going to open that up color background we'll import that to the stage and once we've got the background on the stage we're now going to place the cutout image onto this new background so it's file come down here to place left click place pick the cutout that we've just done and then place and there's the cutout image that we've just cut out from the that background now you can actually make it larger or smaller to keep the aspect ratio correct if you hold the shift key on the keyboard press that down and by just pulling the little edge up here you can make it larger and it'll keep the aspect ratio if you don't hold the shift key down when you're doing it you'll end up with a uh, like a, a cross between a pit bull and a greyhound <laughs> if that's what you want you can do that but uh, I think you get the idea of that and then once you've, uh, you're have you happy with what you've done you then just go file and then you can go save as and now you can say that you'll, you'll place the image on the background you can now save it as a JPEG save as JPEG then just press save now I've brought a, a picture in now onto the stage and we're going to do the same thing I'm going to place the Greyhound onto a new image file again it's place pick the cutout Greyhound cutout and then left click place and then it pops there we are again we're just gonna move that down to the bottom on the grass we want to make it larger to keep the aspect left hold uh, sorry uh, hold the uh, shift key down and just pull the little corner out and then you can enlarge the greyhound and then with the move tool place and then we can move the the greyhound to where we want and then we can save it as a JPEG as we did with the normal colored one by using the method of saving the the uh, image we've cut out as a PSD we can use it over and over again there is another method of actually placing the cutout onto a new background right with both the uh, uh, images open here if I just uh, on the Greyhound cutout if I just click on there left click hold the key and drag it over to the new uh, image and release we have the Greyhound there and that's if we didn't want to save it as a PSD but I do advise to save it as a PSD because you can use it time and time again you know you might want to put it onto different backgrounds or different uh, pictures but that's just another way of doing it and then you'd save the image as a, a JPEG uh, as we did before right well that's it for this tutorial I hope it's uh, been of some help uh, thanks for watching